planning to ship your packages tomorrow or head to the Chris Kindle Market, you'll need your umbrella. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be wet out there. Albert is here timing out the rain on the way. Albert? Yeah, it's going to move in first thing tomorrow morning. Build in from the west, so increasing showers, especially 8 a.m. to about 11 a.m., but a steady widespread rain as we head into the afternoon time, and that even lingers into the early evening. It looks, though, beyond 6 p.m., we'll have just some scattered opportunities to rain, so the radar won't be all filled in, but some of those scattered opportunities to rain even linger into the early morning hours on Sunday. But at this point, we'll go with a dry Sunday afternoon, albeit an overcast afternoon to wrap up the weekend. We're sitting in the low 50s right now in Chicago. There are some 40s outside of the city, even some low 40s out towards the west and Calb at 43, 41, one of the cooler spots in Kankakee, 46, the current temperature in Valparaiso. And the radar is dry, but the clouds are moving in as we set up for an overcast but dry night ahead of this area of low pressure that's spinning right now in Kansas. See the spin that's headed our direction, but what it will also do is kind of converge with this area of low pressure that's up around the Twin Cities and it's going to be right on top of us and that's why that rain chance is so high for us tomorrow at 90 percent. So now through midnight we're dry midnight to about 6 a.m. We're still dry. Some showers start to build in as we head towards the early morning hours tomorrow really starts to be more widespread after 8 a.m. with areas of rainfall across the region as we head towards the afternoon. That's 3 p.m. For the most part though, it's a light rain. There's a couple little moderate pockets here and there throughout the day, but again, it's just persistent. And by the time we head into the early evening, we start to see the rain chances start to come down a bit, but we won't dry out completely until after about 7 a.m. on Sunday. Sunday also featuring some areas of fog to start the day and some lingering showers. That's 7 a.m. highlighting areas along the rim of the lake in northwest Indiana to the Kinkakee River Valley with the best chance of some rain early Sunday morning. Rainfall total forecast half inch to maybe as much as three quarters of an inch in the forecast. Most of that will fall tomorrow. So rainy day tomorrow. The high temperature in Chicago at 44 low to mid 40s across the region, including 45 in Waukegan, 44 in Kankakee and also in Rensselaer. And we'll put the rain chance on Sunday for just the morning time at 20%. The rest of the day featuring a lot of clouds and temperatures will be in the mid 40s. There's a big cold front though that comes in Sunday night and I want to give you a first alert about Monday. We have freezing high temperatures. We'll only make it to 32 on Monday, but it'll feel like the teens on Monday afternoon. There'll be just enough moisture for some Lake effect snow mainly in Porter and LaPorte County, Indiana on Monday and the lows Monday night will be in the low 20s here in Chicago. That means we'll be in the teens in the suburbs. So we got one really cold day in the seven day forecast. That's Monday into Monday night. Sunshine in 35 on Tuesday, a little bit closer to average and then back above normal temperature wise Wednesday, Thursday and even Friday of next week with another round of rainfall about a week away. Thanks, Albert.